Edvezi, who says the general election now would be disastrous, and Anna, Anna Subri, who says the people have the right to have their say. Um, very good morning to you both. Ed Vasey, um, Nadine Doris backed Liz Truss. She wanted her to become Prime Minister. Since then, the polls have collapsed for the Conservatives. So why would Nadine Doris want a general election when it looks like the Conservatives wouldn't win it? Well, you can't legislate for Nadine Dorrie's outlook on life. And uh, you have to really hold on tight to keep track of where she's going to be in terms of her views. Nadine is upset because a lot of her bills, when she was Culture Secretary, are apparently going to be shelved. They're not particularly prominent bills, but they are important. Things like a media bill to change media regulations, a data bill, which data is very important in our economy, and, of course, the online safety bill, which would regulate the internet, although I think that is still going ahead. But Nadine has decided that because her agenda, which also includes the review of the BBC licence fee, appears to be ditched, the entire country should get out and decide to vote for a new government. Now, my view is a general election now would be the wrong timing, leaving aside the fact that Tories are not in a very good position, so I'm obviously biased. Uh, but also, we are heading into a terrible winter and a cost of living crisis. And I don't think there's any appetite from the public to be going out to the polls and choosing a new government at this point. I thought she was um, going to be joining you in the House of Lords, Lord Vasey. And uh, <laughs> I know sometimes you can wait quite a long time for the letter or phone call to tell you that you are being elevated. I don't know whether you had to wait. Is Nadine Doris waiting? Do you think she might be getting a bit frustrated? Uh, well, she could well be. I waited because the COVID pandemic and the COVID pandemic and the lockdown were obviously far more important than whether or not uh, the government was ready no. to announce that I was going to the House of Lords. No. Uh, there's a quite a good parlour game you can play while you're here in Birmingham, which is to go up to people you know are nailed on to go to the House of Lords and ask them when the announcement's going to be, and they're sort of slightly tearing their hair out. So um, <laughs> I can imagine that she's probably uh, waiting for this moment. And she will, that if she does go to the House of Lords, get a mini general election because there'll be... Uh, as it were, the public can have their say in her constituency. Well, Anna Subri, if it's true that Nadine Doris is frustrated either about the announcement over whether she's going to be elevated to the House of Lords or about whether policies that she wants to see put into practice aren't being, isn't calling for a general election rather a sledgehammer to crack a nut? No, I think it's really important, actually, because... The, this government, Liz Truss as the new Prime Minister, is embarking upon a fundamental shift in our country's economic policy. There are other policies, like it looks like the abandonment of much of the green policies of, the, uh, of Boris Johnson's government, and, and he had a mandate for that because he had a general election. And so Liz Truss has no mandate from the British people to embark on this new economic policy. So it's left to Conservative MPs and remember, the majority of Conservative MPs do not support, did not support Liz Truss in the first ballot. Only 50 of them voted for her. So she has no mandate from the British people. She has no mandate from the Conservative Parliamentary Party. But there's also this, I, I suggest. And that is that given the crisis, and Ed, Ed Vasey is absolutely right about that, and given how Ed, Ed Balls has described all these conundrums and all these arguments that are about to continue to engulf this prime minister, you know, this is at a time when we're in an economic crisis, the likes of which we've not seen for a very long time. And what we need is stability, and we're not going to get that. So the idea of Tories falling out, U-turns all over the place, at a time of economic crisis, with all the other problems as well that we have, we need stability. And we're not going to get that from this trust and this government. And that's why we need a general election so we can have a prime minister who's honourable, decent, competent, and give us the stability we need. You are, and there's only a, one um... around who I think fits that bill, and that's Keir Starmer. You are, of course, a, a former Conservative minister, a former Conservative member of parliament, a former Conservative member, maybe just a former Conservative, but if you were still a Conservative, <laughs> would you really think a general election now was a good idea if you were trying to be re-elected as a Conservative member of Parliament in a general election? Look, the cons if, if there's a general election now, we, we know the opinion polls that put Labour on a 25% lead, and we know that the Conservatives will lose. 
That's what the polls predict. Rightly so, in my view. I think the Conservative Party is no longer fit for office. It needs to be removed from office by, by a general election. It needs a long period to come back to its senses uh, in opposition. Uh, and, you know, that, that, that is just how I think so many people feel. I mean, I, I can't tell you the number of... I, you know, I'm fairly normal in that most of my friends are not politicians and they're just ordinary, normal people. I can't tell you how many people I know say to me, I voted Tory all my life, I will never vote Conservative again, as a direct consequence, first of Johnson and now with his trust. And, and the Tories have lost it. Um, Lord Vasey, what do you make of Liz Truss as your Conservative Prime Minister right now? I mean, it, she modelled herself on the lady who was not for turning and she seems to be the U-turning Prime Minister. Well, I voted for Rishi Sunak, but I'm not going to try and get out of uh, answering your question because one of the things I sort of conceded, if you like, is that... Although a uh, Tory leadership election is, to a certain extent, a minority sport, and you can only vote if you're a member, it's still a tough and gruelling contest, and they had many, many hustings and examinations. And Liz Truss won that election fair and square, and that's a testing battleground. I am nervous about what's going to happen in the next few weeks. I thought the U-turn on the 45p tax was a complete debacle from start to finish, and I was worried when she did her regional media round whether she was confident enough and had the steel to be prime minister. She will be tested like nobody else, and it's partly her own fault over the next few weeks. The key, I think, for the Conservative Party, uh, and I hear, obviously, what Anna says, I was tempted to say, get off the fence, Anna, but it's her <laughs> message came across loud and clear, yeah. is, frankly, the, the ordinary people that Anna hangs out with, and I hope that I hang out with, are worried about the uh, what they're going to pay on their mortgage, what they're going to pay on their heating bills, and what they're paying for their food. If the Tory party can get this country through the winter and get people through relatively unscathed, they will have everything to play for. And that is going to be Liz Truss's testing ground. Is she going to survive? I don't know if you can see, leader? Lord Vasey, I don't know if you can see on the screen uh, the, the thousands, tens of thousands of people who have been voting in our yeah. poll should there be a general election. I haven't seen a result like that. Now, bearing in mind... Uh, bearing in mind it's Twitter... Yeah, we have to take that into consideration. But 93% disagree with you, Lord Vasey, and agree with uh, Anna Subri. It's almost 59,000 people. Well, the good thing is, though, um, of, Lord uh, Vasey's now a lord. He's not going to get elected anymore. In terms of an election. I mean, your producers are worried about my health, so they haven't put the poll on the screen, <laughs> so I can't see it. But this is 93% wanting a general election, which, frankly, surprises me, because I assume yeah. that the public is... More like Brenda, who just think, you know, we can't keep having these endless no. um, general elections. The great thing about being the Lord, though, Lord Vasey, is it's not your problem, is it? No. All right. Not, no. Only, not only do I not People have to worry about really... elections, but also I can't vote in a general election. So. <laughs> People are really... I don't think... Yeah. Well, I mean, looks... I've never heard anything like it. They're so mm. pickled off with this government <laughs> and they want change. Did and you... let's hope we get... OK, Anna Subri, Lord Vasey, thanks Thank very you much. very, very much. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and some MPs can only dream of a majority like that, can't they? 59,000 people voting, 3%. Yes, we should have a general election. Mm. Uh, it is heating up at the Conservative Party conference, but the weather is cool. Let's have a look at the forecast with Laura.